let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the upper body. So this is my Fitball upper body fire workout. This is my go-to workout at home with the Fitball. Um, typically, I do this with my feet up against the wall or the base board of the wall. However, it's, it was too hard to film that way. So instead, I placed my reformer box on the floor. And to keep it steady, I put some weight underneath the box to keep it from moving too much. But I would definitely do this with your feet up against a wall or a door. Um, it's a much steadier surface and it's just, it's easier to maneuver. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? We're gonna start warming up the core first. So I'm gonna start, this is my favorite way to do upper body curls. Now I'm not gonna sit smack dab on the top of the ball. Instead, I wanna be more um, kind of in front of the ball, like the front half of the ball right there like that. And I'm gonna do sets of 10. I'm gonna place my feet up onto the box here like this. And then when I bend my knees, my low back is completely supported by the ball, okay? Hands are gonna come behind the head. I'm gonna inhale, relax over the ball, and then exhale, I'm gonna curl and come up. We're here for 10. Inhale back, exhale, lift. Think about cinching your ribs to your hips as you lift. My hands are fully laced behind my head. My neck is nice and long, elbows are wide. Let's go for five more. Exhale, lift it up for five. Deflating the abs as you lift, we're here for four. For three. Two, last one right here. One, hold it halfway and pulse it out. We're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then go ahead, open the arms, drop the head back, get a nice stretch right there. It does feel good. And we're gonna do one more round just like that. Inhaling back, exhale, curling it up. We're here for 10. Deflating the abs as you lift for nine. Imagine you're zipping up a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans with no stretch. Seven and six. Drawing those abdominal muscles in tight for five. Final four, three, two, one. Hold it, pulse it out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Stretching it out, opening the arms, releasing the head. Sliding or rolling back and rolling front. All right, we're gonna come up from there. Now I want you to pull out a weight, some weight, and I want you to go heavy and light. So I'm gonna pull out a pair of tens. I have those right here. So I'm pulling out some 10s and I'm also gonna pull out some 15s. All right, now we're gonna go to work some obliques and upper body. So we're gonna do some arms too, okay? So pull out a couple different sets of weights. I want you to go kind of medium and then a little bit heavier. I'm pulling out some 10s, which you could range from fives to 10s. And I'm also pulling out some 15s, which you could do between, I would say 10 and 20 pounds, okay? So you know your body best. We're gonna be doing a reverse row like this, or wide elbow row. That's what I'm gonna use the lighter ones for, the tens. And then I'm gonna do an overhand reach with one arm, and that's what I'm using the 15s with. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna work one side of the body at a time, okay? So I'm gonna come out to the side like this, and I'm gonna pull one of my heavier weights out with me. We're gonna do a side sit up. Now, if you're doing this against the wall, you're gonna place your feet against the baseboard of the wall or the very bottom of the wall. So I'm gonna come into this position here and I have my bottom leg in front. It's gonna keep me a little bit steadier and I'm about almost on top of the ball, okay? Hands are gonna come behind my head. I'm gonna inhale, take it all the way down. I'm gonna squeeze the top glute as I come up. That way it's gonna keep my hips stacked allowing me to work that waistline even more. We're here for eight. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift for seven. You've got it. And six. 
five, four. You got it. We're here for three. Cinching that rib to your hip as you lift for two. And one, open the arms, pulse it out for 10. Nine, you've got this. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your bottom arm down, reach that top arm up and over, get a nice big stretch, rotate from your spine to bring it down. Now pick up that heavy weight. All right, I'm gonna keep my bottom arm down. The weight is gonna start right at my hip bone. The weight is heavy in the heel of my hand. I'm gonna reach it up, resist with those lats to bring it down. Here we go, we're here for 10. You've got this for nine, Woo! eight, seven, don't quit. For six and five, four, three, two, one, bring it halfway, hold it here and pulse it out for 10. Yes, nine, eight, seven it is oh so tough. For six and five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out, give it a little stretch. We're gonna do both of those one more time. Here we go, going back to that side, sit up. Let's go, inhale down. Since your rib to your hip as you lift for 10, squeezing that top glute for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on, and one. Open up the arms and pulse it, 10, nine. You've got this, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that bottom arm down. Reach that top arm up and over. You've got it. Find a little stretch. All right, pick that heavy ass weight up. Let's go. We're building sexy arms here. Woo! Are you ready? Let's go. Take it up. We're here for 10. Resist as it comes down. For nine, I feel the shoulder working as I lift and those lats and triceps as I lower. Eight. Woo! Seven and six, five, final four. Don't quit. Let's go for three. Come on, come on. Two. This is it right here. One. Bring it down halfway and pulse it out. We're here for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Ouch. Four, three, two, one. Whoo. Ah. Give it a nice little stretch. We're gonna give that left arm just a little bit of a break, but we're gonna come back to some more arm work, but we're gonna work on that posterior chain. Whew, we're gonna do a little extension here. Fixing my box. All right, so this is a contemporary swan, I like to call it. All right, so you wanna scoop back as close to the wall or your box as you can. And then from here, I'm gonna do a swan. So just, it's very, very similar to the swan on the barrel or also the swan on the reformer. I'm gonna lengthen everything out like this. Hold it and lift up, bend the knees. The knees come to the floor, get a nice stretch. And again, you're gonna inhale, lengthen out to that swan dive. Draw those abdominals in tight and then, toe, and then relax. Drape the body over the ball bring the ball back in. And again, extending it out, coming out to that diagonal. Find your balance as you take it up, draw the abdominals in, bend at the knees to take the um, too much bend out of that low back. Open it up, take a great big inhale as you lengthen it along. And we need to draw those abdominals in tight, your neck is long. And then we're gonna bring it back in. One more like this, and then we're gonna add to it. We're gonna take it out, we go out to that diagonal, Abdominals are in tight as we take it up, bend at the knees, open it out. Big inhales, you lengthen it long, drawing those abdominals in tight, and then go ahead, relax over the ball, bring it back in. Now, we're gonna go out to some tiny little reverse body lifts, right here like this. So my legs are long, my glutes are tight, my abs are tight. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. I'm gonna inhale lower, 
exhale lift it up we're here for 10 squeezing those glutes and drawing those abdominals in tight for nine neck is long for eight seven and six five four three two last one right here one drape your body over the ball hold it right there now go ahead and pull out those lighter weights so i'm pulling out my tens you could go heavier but whenever it comes to my back i'm a little bit careful not to go too heavy because i do have arthritis in my low back now you're going to come back out onto that ball your feet are against the baseboard of a wall or if you're using a box like me that works too all right so i'm right here in a plank i'm going to bring my fists so they're facing the wall like this and i'm going to do the left arm first i'm going to pull bring it back same arm just like that let's go for 10 are you ready abdominals are drawn in tight here we go 10 9 8 yes are we feeling the work here for 7 whoo 6 and 5 neck is long 4 you've got to hang in there don't quit we're here for 3 2 one now bring the weights so the, uh, the head of the weights are facing front like this now we're going to do a wide reverse fly okay so the elbows are soft here we go 10 9 we're building sexy arms for that little black dress you're going to be wearing this holiday season eight seven whoo for six are you working on your christmas shopping yet we're here for five. I haven't even begun. Whew, four. I'm too, too busy building this, filming this stuff. For three, two, one. Whoo. All right. Take the weights away. We're going to go back to those upper body reverse curls. Okay. So your hands are behind your head. I'm going to come in just a little bit. Inhale down exhale lift it up for 10 drawing those abdominals in tight for nine this time i'm choosing to bend up my uh, my knees to take a little bit of tension out of my low back i do have osteoarthritis in my low back so i'm really careful not to do too much extension in my low back i can do extension as long as i don't bend in the low back too much we have four more we're here for four three two last one right here one we're gonna take it to the other arm now okay so first we're out here like this Whew. we're gonna do that art we're, sorry we're here like this we're gonna do that narrow uh we're gonna do that wide elbow pull okay here we go ten just the right arm nine abdominals are tight eight seven you've got it we're here for six keep going for five four three yes don't quit two one Whoo! all right bring your weight so the the heads of the weights are facing this way now it's a fly okay here we go reverse fly ten nine eight are you hanging in there seven Woo! can you feel this work we're here for six and five don't quit let's go four yes three two this is it right here one Woo! nice job my friends all right, we're going to go back to the other side now to do that side sit up and that overhead reach. So I'm going to place my 10 pounders back. I'm going to pull my heavy boy out. I'm going to turn away from the camera. I'm still watching you though. Okay. Side sit up on this side. So 
pretending this bad boy box is my wall. I'm gonna come down onto my side. Bottom leg is in front. That's gonna keep your hips stacked a little bit better, okay? Now the higher on the ball you are, the more range you're gonna have, the more challenging it's gonna be. You decide. We're gonna inhale, take it down, squeeze that top glute, lift it up. Here we go for 10. Think about cinching your rib to your hip as you lift for nine. Eight. I'm losing my box. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. This is it. One. Arms are long. Pulse it out for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, bring that arm down, reach it up and over, get a nice little stretch. All right, you guys, grab that heavy weight. Overhead reach, bottom arm is down. The weight is in the heel of my hand. Here we go, reach it up for 10. Resist with those lats as you come down. For nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down halfway. Pulse it out. Let's go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. From here, we're going to do another round. Give yourself just a little bit of a break. Ready, hands come behind the head. Inhale down, squeeze that glute. Let's take it up, let's go for 10. Nine, cinching your rib to your hip as you lift for eight. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. One, pulse it out, let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, reach it up, get a nice big stretch right here. Oh, that does feel good. Whoo! All right, pick up that weight. Last right arm move, here we go. Reach it up, resist as you come down. We're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven. How is that right arm? Is it toasty for six? Is it shaken for five, four, three, two, one? Hold it here. Pulse it. Let's go. Ten, nine. You're almost there. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! <sighs> How did it go? All right. Whew. We're going to do some pikes on the ball. So make sure you clear some space for yourself. You're going to want about a reformer length worth of um, space. So I'm going to move my stuff around. I'll meet you right back here. All right. All right. You want to make sure you've cleared some space. We're going to go into some pikes. I would think you'd want about the same amount of space that you would use for a reformer. You don't need a lot of width, you just need a lot of length for this one. So as what I do is I start behind the ball on my knees like this, and I'm gonna roll out to a plank position. The closer the ball is to your feet, the harder it is. However, don't start with it too close because when you pike, your feet are gonna come up to the ball. So I like to bring the ball just around where my knees are when I get into that plank, maybe a little bit below my knees. So here I go. I'm gonna walk it out into that plank position like this. So the ball is just below my knees right here. My shoulders are over my hands. I'm gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, scoop the abdominals to take it up. We're here for 10. Now, if you want a greater challenge, you just scoot the ball a little bit lower. All right. Here we go, scooping the abs, taking it up for 10. Shoulders are staying over your hands for nine. Think about drawing those abdominals in tight to create that lift. 
for eight. You've got it, here we go. For seven, nice job. Keep going, deep, deep abs for six. Try not to let the legs do all of the work. They're just going along for the ride. For five, can you feel that work? Woo! For four, three, you've got it, keep going, don't quit. Two, this is it right here. One, and take it back. Stretch out that low back just a little bit. I got so much hair going on right here. <laughs> Gonna fix it. Okay. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Now we're gonna do one more round, but in between the rounds, now I'm gonna do a push-up, okay? So I'm gonna do one round of push-ups right here. Elbows are gonna stay wide for this push-up. And then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go right into my pikes when I finish that push-up. So I'm gonna scoot back a little bit farther here. Here we go. Walking it back out. The ball is on my calves, just below my knees. Here we go, push-ups, give me 10, 10, nine, Eight. Make sure you're drawing those abdominals in tight for seven, six, five. You've got this for four, three, two, one. Woo! Take it back. <sighs> How are we doing? Aren't these footballs kind of fun? Has this been sitting in your house getting all dusty and you never use it like it does for me? <laughs> It is a great way to get in a quick, easy workout, and it is fun. All right, going back to those pikes. Here we go, I'm taking it out. The ball is just below my knees. Here we go, shoulders are over your hands, abdominals are tight. Scoop those abs, let's take it up. Here we go, for 10. Drawing those abdominals in tight. We're here for nine. The ball comes to my shoelaces at the top for eight. Deep abs right here, my friends. We're here for seven, woo! And six, are you feeling the work as much as I do? For five, four, three, two, last one right here, this is it. I know it is, oh, so tough, woo, walking it back. <sighs> Sometimes I, my roll gets a little out of control. All right, going to those push-ups, and then we're gonna sit on top of our ball and do some upper body work again. <sighs> Here we go, going out to our push-ups. Remember, the closer the ball is to your feet, the greater the challenge right here because you have less stability and support. All right, friends, let's go. 10, nine, eight. Those abs should be tight to eliminate too much sway in that low back. Six, five, yes, four, three, two. This is it right here. One, whoo, oh, nice job. All right. I'm gonna have a seat on my ball, and I'm gonna pull out some weights. <sighs> Let's go heavy, okay? So I want you to go heavy. I'm gonna pull out my 15s and my 20s. Now, you do what works best for you, okay? So if you only have fives and tens with you, do that. Do that today. Give it a try, and if you feel you could go heavier, get yourself on Amazon and order some heavier weights. It's definitely worth it. I always tell people, start heavy. If you have the option to go heavy, start heavy. You can always go down and wait, and then maybe next time you'll make it a little farther. Maybe you'll make it to six reps next time before you go down and wait, okay? So keep trying to go a little bit farther with your reps before going down, and eventually, you may not need to go down, okay? And then once you're doing the full set with that, heavy, with that heavier resistance, that's when you start adding an even heavier weight, okay? That's how we get stronger. 
always adding more weight. You don't want to stay stagnant. So I'm going to start with my heavier ones, my 20s. I'm going to do an overhead reach. Are you ready? We're going for 10. Let's go. 10. Resist with those lats as those elbows come back down. We're here for nine. Sitting on top of the fit ball is challenging because there's not a lot of stability for eight. So you have to really uh, tighten that core as so you look for seven, six. You got it, my friends. We're here for five, four, three. Almost there. Come on, come on. Here we go. Two. This is it right here. Ouchie, I know. One. Woo. <sighs> How you doing? All right, I think my ball needs some more air. It's getting a little squishy. All right, I'm gonna go to a little bit lighter now. I'm gonna go to some 15s. I'm gonna do a bicep curl. All right, here we go. Roll those shoulders down. We're here for 10. You've got it. Nine. So good, my friends. For eight, yes, don't quit, let's go. Seven, whoo, for six. Five, you've got this. Four, three, two, last one. One. Oh, that should be heavy. That should be tough. That last rep for both sets should definitely be a struggle. All right, my weights are getting messy here. All right, we're gonna go pretty heavy, okay? So we're gonna do we're gonna do a bench press here. So I want you to grab your heavy weights. I'm gonna turn this way. So you can go heavy. I'm going for some 20s. I wanna, I wanna see you picking up between 15 and 25 pounds right here, okay? It's your workout, you decide. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s and if I feel I can go to 25s, maybe I will. All right, so I gotta fix my microphone. Cannot roll on that. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna roll all the way out so my upper body is supported by that ball. My glutes are lifted. All right, I'm gonna take it out, then exhale, reach it up. We're here for 10. Take it out, right back up for nine. You've got this, my friends. Let's go for eight. Don't quit, let's go. For seven, whoo. For six, you have to draw those abs in tight. For five, four, you've got this. Don't quit, come on, come on. For three, yes two one all right keep the arm steady right right arm down left arm down let's go right down left you've got this don't quit keep going come on Woo! we've got three more each side three three i know it is oh so tough for two two one more each one one Woo! How we doing? Was that tough? All right, grab that weight again. So I have to come up to grab the weight. So now I'm gonna grab the weight, bring it into my hands like this, and I'm gonna roll down right here like this. All right, it's an overhead reach. Take it out, feel that core switch on and those lats. Take it back up for 10. Taking it down, feel that core switch on. You've got it. For nine, you're gonna feel the lats a little tricep, and definitely that core. Woo! Eight. You've got this, my friends. Let's go. For seven. Don't quit. We're here for six. Can you feel the work? And five. Yes, keep going. For four. You're doing it. Three. So good. How we doing? Final two. Woo! Last one right here. One. Ah. All right. Ah. Take a 30 second break. We're gonna do that whole set one more time. All right, I hope you grabbed a towel and some water, a little refreshing break. We're gonna do that arm work all over again. So we started seated. We started seated for that overhead press. And then we went right into those arms. Now, if you need more support with your glutes, 
you can come to kneeling. When you're sitting like this, you don't have your glutes to help support, so you have to really rely on that core. But if you want more support in that core, come to kneeling and squeeze those glutes. It'll help just a little bit, especially if you're going a little heavier than you did last time. So I'm gonna pick up those heavier weights and get started here. All right, sets of 10. Are you ready? Sitting nice and tall. Let's go, take it up for 10. Resist with those lats as you come back down. We're here for nine. You've got it, resist. Eight, Woo. for seven, nice job. For six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here, this is it, one. Oh, that should be tough. Oh, so tough. You've got it. All right. Going into the biceps. Open up those arms. Roll the shoulders back. Lifting from that pelvic floor. Let's go. Take it up for 10. I'm keeping those elbows close to my body for nine, eight, whoo, for seven. You've got it. Six. Whew. Five, four, whew. three, two, last one right here. This is it. One. Whew. All right. Going into that bench press. Now I'm going to go heavier this time. I think I can do it. I know I can do it. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some 25s this time. Here I go, I gotta move my microphone. All right, I'm gonna pick up these 25s. Yeah, this big hair on a day that's humid is not a good idea. All right, yep, they're heavy. <laughs> they're oh so heavy. All right, I can do this. If I can't do it, if I can only make it three reps, I tried, right? And then next time, I'll go back and see if I can go farther. All right, so the ball is supporting my shoulders and head, I'm squeezing those glutes to keep the hips lifted. Here we go, we're going down, right, back up for 10. Take it down, yes, nine, I'm gonna do it. I've got this, you've got this, we're here for eight. Don't quit, let's go for seven, Whew. six, five, Whew. Four. Oh, it's tough. Come on, come on. For three. Don't quit. Two. This is it right here. One. Woo. I'm ditching one of those weights. I'm going to do that overhead reach, that lat pull. All right. Taking it back out. Don't drop that weight, friends. <laughs> here we go. We're here for 10. I'm going to hold it a little bit differently since I went heavier. Yeah, here we go. 10, whoo, really feeling those lats now with this 25 pounder. We're here for nine, whoo, eight, don't drop those glutes, let's go, don't quit. Seven, go down and wait if you have to, but keep coming, yes, keep fighting. Six, five, you've got this my friends, let's go. Four, we can do three more, that is it. Three, Whew. two, this is our last one right here. One, Whew. finish it. Ah, <sighs> oh, guys, whoops, what did I drop? Oh, that was my ball. You made it through. Give yourselves a hand, that was a tough one. Fit ball fire for the upper body. Now, if you want a little bit more work and you want to do fit, bar, fit ball fire lower body, that's coming right at you next. Oh, 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 oh.